Here's what's left of one of my first 3D prints. It was a Darth Vader bust, but then my four-year-old son dropped it. And it made my older son, he's 17, he was pretty happy to have it. And to make it up to him, I printed a new one. Now this one is completely solid. And now what we're going to do is paint it so that it looks even better. So I've already spray painted it black with some gloss spray paint. And I'm going to use these testers paints to do the accents. And then I'll use some tester paintbrush. Now this isn't sponsored by the company or anything like that. I just went to uh, Michael's and I picked this up. Everything cost me what, $18. And I didn't use any coupons mods or anything like that. I wanted to find blue because I see that some Darth Vader pictures have blue, but uh, they didn't have it available. At least not the kind of blue I wanted, just a solid blue. So here we go. Here's our Darth Vader. This is the Darth Vader that you see at Disneyland. Now the gentleman who made this one, uh, this one says Eastman.xyz. Shout out to him for making this print available to everybody. So the face plate on the, uh, on the chest piece, you can see is it's a little different. We still have the switches there. We have a circle here instead of more switches, but it looks like I can just use the same pictures, the same colors rather. The mask has three points where it has some color in it. And then the belt's a little bit different, but we'll use that green there too. To clean up my paintbrushes. All right, let's start out with, we're gonna start out with black. Now this is just Rust-Oleum. I know the eyes are already black because I spray painted it, but I want the eyes to take on a different kind of hue. And so I'm hoping this black is just different enough so that it'll show that. See our options for paintbrushes. I'm gonna use that middle one, which is the biggest. too much paint on there.
This is what I originally painted it with, this Krylon lacquer. And I'm gonna go back through and touch up the, the places that I uh, overpainted. I messed up and I put my thumb in the wet oil paint. Hits on his wrist. Okay, we are done. We have some oil base paint in his eyes to make it look like he's wearing lenses. We've got the three little points on his mask. Oh, I have to touch that up. Oil base paste on oil base paint on his chest. Got his little panel board covered up, and then we added some red at the base.